In this video I'm going to replace our pyramid unit with a real world unit. So we're going to make a character in Maya. I'm going to model the character in this video and bring it into Unity, but I'll get I'll let you guys texture it in your own spare time so you can, you know, make it personal and so if you're following along that'll be nicer for you. But uh, this pyramid has had its day, it's not very useful anymore, so we're going to move on and make a real character. So we're not going to schedule this out and then bring it into Maya and then make a professional job out of this. We're just going to make a unit, which is not going to animate too much. It's going to be a placeholder for our game. In the future, we'll be doing some complicated rigging for our units, but in, in this um, section of the course for the strategy game, I'll just be making a simple unit so it's not outside the scope of this project because we need to model objects to, to build our placeholder graphics anyway so um, saying that our model is going to be quite nice I'm going to hop into Maya now and uh, the way I'm going to do this I want my robot to have a nice rounded shell and I'm going to make it have a rounded head and I'm going to make it float off the ground so we don't need to worry about modeling legs and feet and then animating feet and everything so I'm going to start with a cube or rectangle and this is going to be the robot's body. I'm just going to drag it upwards. So I'm just going to hover it up above the grid so it's a nice angle. Turn on the smooth shade all. And to make this robot's body I'm going to firstly select the edges and I'm going to bevel out these edges. Go back to the center, bevel edge. So I'm going to make three segments and then we're just going to edit the offset ever so slightly and uh, to change the sensitivity of this guys you have to change this wheel icon and we click this twice and then we can change it to ultra sensitive if we want to and then it will change really sharply but we don't want to do that we just want to make it a tiny bit so a bit more precision when we're editing and let's have a look I think that this will be a nice shape I think for our robot alright so I'm not going to keep this object ultra smooth, I'm going to harden out a few edges but firstly I want to just make the bottom of the robot a bit thinner so let's just shrink it down a little bit okay I'm actually going to make this object a bit rounder so we go back to our history click the bevel make the offset a tiny bit more and that's cool, that's nice okay so I'm going to harden out some edges, I'm going to harden out this side and I'm going to double click on this loop normals harden edge okay so I'm going to separate the body from the actual hover unit that hovers the robot for, off the ground I'm going to select this loop actually I'm going to go into a side view let's make a bit more space first I'm going to set, go to a side I'm going to select all these faces and just bring them down a bit okay so I'm going to grab this edge here and I'm going to bevel it out so let's bevel this edge out again go into the right menu and this time I want the offset to be a tiny bit more that's good I'm going to go into a face mode double click the next one to select the whole ring of them and extrude them in in a world mode so scaling them in in a world mode and now we've kind of got a connection between the body of the robot and the end of the robot that's kind of going to hover off the ground okay thinking about it now I want this object to be smooth all the way around so I'm going to grab these edges and we can double click on this one to select all of them normal soften edge okay so nice shape for our robot I'm going to make it a bit more rounded actually let's make it a bit more rounded alright that's cool so what I'm going to do now is make the back and the front of the robot more obvious and to do that I'm just going to select all of these faces if I can nope. I can't do it in a side view because they're diagonal so that's cool. I'm just going to get my brush tool out and just select these faces. Okay, let's select these. And if you press Control, you can deselect them as well. These faces. And let's just select these. So, make the brush smaller. Hold B, then left mouse drag. So, I want this area to be the back of the robot. So, all I'm going to do is just scale it in to make it more flat okay that's cool so this is the back of the robot this is going to be the front looks a bit nicer now so to create the head well I might want the head to rotate in the game so I'm not going to connect the head straight to the body I'm going to make another connection to it so I'm just going to make a little cylinder doesn't have to be too detailed let's make it 9 actually that's not very good that's not very smooth I'm going to make it 12 instead let's vertex snap it or try to vertex snap it anyway to the robot's top and let's just shrink it down a bit to start with we can go into a top view to line it up easier 
Okay, I think that would be okay. So this is going to be the connection for the robot. Okay, let's go to an object mode. Let's go to select edge ring tool. Select this edge ring, normals, soften edge. Okay, now our robot's nice and smooth around the neck area. Okay, so this was the back, so this is going to be the front of the robot. Okay, so to create the head, all I'm going to do is get a sphere. I'm going to drag out a sphere. Again, that's way too detailed. I'm going to make it 10 by 10. I think that'd be cool. And again, vertex snap it. And it's way too big. I'm just going to shrink it down. And as a nice guide, I'm going to go into the side view and just, just make it a similar shape to the cylinder we just created, but a bit smaller. So it sits on top. And let's just go into a face and delete half of this object. So we can always move the pivot up by holding D wherever you want, guys. And bring it into place. Alright, our robot's beginning to take shape now, but the head looks a bit small, the edges aren't very smooth. So I'm just going to make it a bit bigger. Alright, let's group the objects. Command G, group them, and then they'll increase proportionally. That's really nice. I like the fact that that's pointing outwards actually into the robot's body. So we can ungroup these objects now. Let's go to Window, Hierarchy, select the group, Edit, Ungroup. Or we could have just deleted the node there because my works in nodes and uh, okay that's cool actually I don't know if we want that to stick out of the robot or not uh, that's cool I'm just going to get this edge and just maybe move it out a tiny bit and maybe just move just tweaking the, the shape a little bit okay so in the future we might want to add more detail to this and let's just move it back a tiny bit Okay, I'm just going to add a tiny bit more detail to our robot. So I'm going to add an antenna to it. So maybe it's got communication um, tools with it. I'm going to select all of these faces and I'm going to extrude them in. Extrude face. Let's move them right in. And I'm just going to do this a couple more times in a world mode just to make a little antenna object. Press G again and into a world mode bring this up right okay so let's just jump into a top view not a top view let's go to a side view and tweak the shape out go into a vertex bring it down shrink this one down okay that's better so to create the uh, antenna I'm going to select all these little faces in here you can press Q to get rid of those pivot points and uh, extrude the face out and let's go into a world again bring it up and let's just slant it a little bit shall we okay so depending on the style of your robot you might want to do it to the side or backwards I'm just going to do it backwards awesome that's our little antenna for our robot and I can just we can just move out these edges if we wanted to select these ones let's go to select edge ring tool again select these ones normal soften edge and there's a bit more to soften out here normal soften edge alright guys almost done now so I'm just gonna make some eyes for our robot and I'm just gonna slit a little area in the head I'm just gonna get the slide edge tool bring these down a bit and I'm gonna bring this down a bit as well and then we can select these three faces and just simply extrude inwards it's going to go backwards a bit Ooh, moving backwards okay that's good and I think that that will do for our robot actually looks really nice feel free to tweak it out if you want guys um, you might want to add some edge loops in here and add some more detail to the robot I'm just going to make this bit a bit nicer okay that's cool. Okay, I think that's pretty cool. Um, I think that's going to be our robot actually. We could make it a bit thinner as it goes down, so we could just smooth it out here. Also, let's scale it inwards a bit maybe. So, a bit more proportionate now. And uh, I think that'll do for our robot actually. It looks really nice. So, I'm going to go into my animation shelf and add a keyframe on the first frame. Oop. So let's select all these objects. I'm going to add a keyframe on this first frame. That's going to be our idle state. So we want to add another one on the second frame. And let's say 
10 frames later, so on frame 12 maybe, we're going to bring it up a tad. Alright guys, and we're going to copy frame 2, and on frame 24, I'm just going to paste it in. So I just pasted it in frame 24, and now if we scroll through, the robot's hovering pretty good. Okay, so it might be a bit fast, but we can test it out. That's pretty good. So the robot's hovering quite nicely. Let's just bring it down a tiny bit. Doesn't I don't want it to be too obvious. Let's just double check. All right, that's good. Just adds a bit more character to our robot. All right, so let's select the whole robot now. Let's file export selection. All right, let's go to. I'm just going to navigate to my models folder and I'm going to call this one robot so we want animation this time that's good um, that's all cool let's export the selection and that, that doesn't matter that doesn't matter very much okay won't affect our project in unity so now unity should have imported that so let's set up the animations I can add one I'm gonna make it idle so the idle is just one to one to two and everything is absolutely fine. I'm just going to add another one. I'm going to call it hover. So the hover one's going to go from 2 to 24 because that's how many frames we have in Maya and I'm going to make it loop. Let's loop it. Okay so the wrap mode is loop and we've ticked the loop box and at the bottom we need to apply this to our robot. And this is our robot guys in Unity. I've skipped the video a bit because it's getting a bit long and I just wanted to show you what the robot looks like in the game. So if I play the game now, I can't control it, we're going to configure that in the next couple of videos. But as you can see the robot's hovering around and uh, it looks pretty nice. And then we can rotate the camera and move into place if we wanted to, to zoom in on our robot. Alright guys, so that's the robot. I'll hopefully see you in the next video. We'll configure the robot to interact with the scene and make everything work pretty good. Okay, thanks for watching the video guys. See you in the next video.